In Articulate Storyline, one of the neat things about the quizzing features is that you can incorporate a retry button on your result slide. And that's what we're seeing right down here at the bottom of this result slide. And that way the learner can take the quiz again if they want to. Well, one of the questions that we hear sometimes is, can I display this retry button only if the user fails? Because maybe I don't even want to provide a retry if they pass my quiz. And yes, it's actually really easy to do this, so I want to show you how. So here's my storyline file, and in this example, I only used uh, this one quiz question right here, and then right after that comes my result slide. So what we want to do is, on the result slide, we're going to come up here above the trigger panel and click on this button that says Edit Result Slide. And then we need to select the Options tab over here at the left. And we just need to make sure that this final checkbox is marked, the one that says Allow User to Retry Quiz. And then we can go ahead and click OK. So here's the base layer of my result slide, and here's the retry button that Storyline just inserted for me. And I'm just going to reformat this a little bit so it looks good with my content. I'm going to resize it, and then I'm going to also uh, move it over a little bit so it doesn't cover up my review quiz button. And I also want to change the color so that it matches the same color as my review button. So I'm going to select the review button, and then up on the Home tab, I'll choose the Format Painter, and then click on my retry button so that they look the same. Now, the default behavior is that this retry button is always going to end up here on the base layer of my result slide, which means that um, no matter what the outcome of the quiz, when the learner gets to the result slide, they're going to see the retry button. But if I only want to make that retry available to learners who fail, all I got to do is move this button from the base layer to the layer that shows when learners fail. So I'm going to select the button and then do a Control X to cut it from the base layer, and then I'm going to switch to my failure layer and then do a control V to paste it and that way it's only going to appear if the learners don't pass my quiz. So let's go ahead and preview this and we'll see how things work here. Now we're going to first fail the quiz so that we see the retry button show up. So I'm going to get this question wrong and hit submit and sure enough there's our retry button right down here at the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and click that and this time we'll pass the quiz. And once we answer this question correctly, when we get to the result slide, we're not going to see that retry button this time because it only shows up on the layer that learners see if they fail.